so I got a 2007 BMW 7 Series. I'm fixing the door panels so that the rear shades can go up and down. This is an issue that all the E65s and E66 have between the years of 2002 to 2008, I believe. So I've got the door panel removed. Because what happens is the, the leather on these door panels, it comes up and it the shades hit right here so it can't go up and down. So what I've done, I I pulled the door panel out and then I got sandpaper and sanded it down really, really good. Got it all nice and rough. That's where I did it right here. And then I threw some JB Weld in there. I threw some JB Weld in there and then I have a fixture that I fixed everything down with while it, drew, while it dried. I'm about to do it on the other door panel right now. I'm going to show you. So I got some 180 grit sandpaper right here. This is the seam that always comes up. There's glue here from BMW, but as you can see, there's no adhesive. Let the adhesion is completely gone. It doesn't stick at all. So what I do is I I take the sandpaper and I sand it back and forth just to get a rough surface. And I'm sanding both the plastic, and I'm also going to sand this as well, the leather as well, a little bit. But mostly I'm sanding that down that plastic. I'm using this JB Weld stuff. It says here it takes about 15 minutes for it to dry. I'm going to let it sit for about 20 to 25. And I use about half a tube per door panel. So in order, in order to do both of your rear doors, you're going to use about a full tube. Now I'm just adding the JB Weld. I mixed it up, and I'm going to add it into the seam. I'm using the same sander that I used to sand it because it just fits in that crack super well. I'm just getting it ni all nice in there. You want to do enough for it to actually stick. How do you turn it off? So I just filled this whole area full of JB Weld. I have it filled pretty evenly. And then now I'm going to take this bar that I got right here. Just a regular piece of steel or whatever. And then I got these two clamps from D-Wall. I don't know what size these are. This one's smaller, but I got both of them. And I'm going to place this onto here. And I'm going to clamp it down and let it sit for 20 minutes. I'm using one more clamp so I got three of them right here and I didn't clamp them, clamp them down too hard because I don't want to squeeze all of the JB weld out of this out of in between the leather and the plastic but now yeah so that's just gonna sit for 20 minutes and I ended up using the whole thing of JB weld for this door panel because it ended up it just ended up needing it so you might end up needing to buy two of these to do both of your rear door panels so originally I said I was going to let this sit for about 20 minutes, but because I used the entire tube, it took a lot longer for it to dry. The way you know it's dry, you just kind of touch it with your finger. Um, I let this sit for about two hours. That's how long it took to dry because I used the whole tube. But now I can pull this thing. I can pull this piece of steel out of here. And the JB Weld actually welded the the bar to the to the car let's see yeah it welded this piece of metal to the door panel and that's fine you just have to get it off you have to just pry it off in a way where it's not going to damage the door panel and it's easy to do so i've got the bar off of here you can see how the jb weld job did this is pretty solid it's not going nowhere this is really solid stuff I'm going to go ahead and with a razor blade, I'm going to clean it up, just make it flat on here, just so that it doesn't interfere with anything. But yeah, this is a pretty good, pretty solid repair. Okay, so now I got, now I got the door panel put on. Um, I didn't show how I pulled the door panel on or off because there are YouTube videos on how to do that, and it really wasn't too hard. And I guess a quick rundown, there's a beauty shield right here, we got a Torx bolt under there. And we've got two beauty shields right here. And there's torque bolts under those. And that's it. 
and then you just pop the panel out. You got to be mindful of the the lock, obviously, the door cable, door handle cable, and then there's one wire for the wiring on the door panel that you got to take care of. But yep, I got this all done. As you can see, that side works. This side works. And you can go up, you can go down. And this is a good solid repair. It'll last it'll last forever. It's much stronger than the original adhesive that was there from BMW. So yep, as you can see it works. We even got the other side done as well. Yep, that works. The side panels actually never really go bad. It's always the ones that go it's always the bigger ones going up and down. Yep, it works perfectly. Like I said, the JV Weld, it's a good permanent repair. It's going to last you forever. I also need to do the sunshade in the rear. That broke on me as well, as you can see. But 